What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of the word Anzac? Anzac biscuits. Um, Anzac cookies. Soldiers going to war. Anzac cookies. I like Anzac cookies. Do you know what the word actually means? Um, Australian national something. I don't know. Australia versus New Zealand. Are you sure? Yep. Do you know what the word Anzac really means? Nope. Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Anzac means Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Anzac Day is the day we celebrate Australia and New Zealand, the association during the war. Marches, parades. Anzac Day, I think of my father. Pre-dawn services. Anzac Day is a good day to just think and pay respect to what happened. I was in the Australian Merchant Marine when I was 15. I was saying, you know, 100 bombers come over and, and did what they call pattern bombing. Frightening, you know. I was saying four fellows put on a stretch of what was left. I had an uncle that fought in the Second World War. My grandfather's brother served in the, in the Māori Battalion. I had two, two elder brothers who served in the New Zealand Army. My uncle served in the Second World War, my husband served in the Vietnam War, and some of his ancestors have also served, one of whom lost his life in the First World War. My great uncle served, Frederick Bryan was his name, in World War I, and he died there. It's just wonderful what they did, but on the other hand, it's kind of sad because a lot of them were lost. And then a lot of the families ended up without a father, brother. That leaves a deep hole in a family and, and in, a, in a nation. When we were in the Western Desert, we were um, called the 2nd Ninth Division uh, Cavalry Regiment. The crew commander said, OK, we'll, I'll, I'll get into the, 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 the second tank. There are three tanks. And so he got out and, and uh, got into the second tank. And they went forward. Unfortunately, the anti-tank gun got there instead of the them getting the anti-tank gun. The bullet went through the, the top of the turret and whizzed around inside. And anyone inside, of course, he wasn't too good. Unfortunately, both the crew commander and the gunner died. One of the ones that were killed was also a neighbour of mine in the in the country where I came from. So it was very, very difficult. If you know what it's like to lose somebody, then you can feel for the people who, who lost their, their families in the wars. When I contemplate their sacrifice of life, I know that I have um, a wonderful example of people in my direct line for me to live up to. I know that I can achieve because they achieve. Oh, I think it's so important to remember the Anzacs. I think it allows the opportunity to connect with your, your forebearers, they leave behind a legacy of faith and, and, and character that um, I think if we don't investigate and understand, 
uh, we miss an opportunity to identify it within ourselves. But well, why might it be important to remember them? Because they're a part of family and we have to remember them because we love them and they made us. Family history. You put it in your family tree. We are them and they are us. They are the reason why we're here and they're a big part of who we are today. I enjoy freedom. I've been able to receive education. I live in a free country. Um, I have a wonderful life partly because of directly what they have done. They fought for freedom and they won. We've got to be grateful for that. The Anzac spirit has, um, has lived on to the present day, which is about achieving success through adversity, working to the end, spirit of courage, love and faith, and mateship. Mateship. An absolute mateship. New Zealand and, and Australia have a very strong kinship. They're our brothers, they're our cousins. Yes, New Zealand and Australia are very close nations. They fought for what was right. I feel that the first Anzacs that we were in in the 1914 war, uh, they set the examples for we who came afterwards. I believe the Anzac spirit still exists today. You have to find it. There's love there through their sacrifice for them and a sense of responsibility to live good lives because of what they did. It's the least I feel we can do to respect that cause and that sacrifice. The spirit of Anzac will have to continue on forever and ever. It's the same spirit we feel when we think about the Saviour giving his life for us. It's exactly the same because that's what happened. It'll always be there. We just always need to remember. <laughs>